Hey guys, Francis O'Keefe here for Go Guitar Lessons. Today we're taking a look at a Santana song that I love to teach. Now, most people will actually learn the, uh, the, the Santana lead part for it. Uh, I'm going to be teaching the rhythm part, which has some fantastic chords, some great strumming, uh, some great strumming techniques as well. So it'd be a huge advantage and it's going to be a lot of fun for you guys to learn it. All right, so here's the verse breakdown for uh, Santana and Rob Thomas's Smooth. We're going to start off with an A minor chord. And what I want you guys to do is we have a pretty complex um, strum pattern here. Uh, I want you to strum it down, down, up. And we're going to be using the open up technique. So it's going to look like... Our next chord is an F chord. And the F chord I want you guys to use is this half F. So just starting from the D string, we're going to cover um, the D string three, middle two, and then index gets the uh, those two guys. And don't use the top two. So for this one, I want you to strum it down, up, and then do a muted stop. Okay? So, so far, down, down, open up, F chord, down, up, stop. I'm going to go to an E7 chord. The E7 chord that we want in this case is we want to have the pinky finger on the high E string, um, sorry, on the B string third fret. So just to explain how to play an E7 chord, if you know how to play an E major chord, just release your ring finger. That is an E7, but we want to make this a really strong E7. So we add an extra seventh, high seventh note here, and that's on the B string third fret, and we end up with this. Our pattern here is up, up, down, up, up, down, open up. So here's our first line. So A minor, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, up. So this is the part that uh, just repeats um, in the intro when uh, Santana's playing his lead guitar section. And then it's also what happens uh, during the verse except during the verse we have an alternating part. So during the verse what happens is we play this two times. And then we have this part. So the alternating part that we're going to throw in there, it starts with a D minor 7. So that's, it's, a D minor 7 is uh, an F chord without the ring finger covering the F note. And we make that. That gives us a D minor 7 chord, okay? So we're going to treat the D minor 7 like this. It's going to be down, down, open up. The F chord we're going to play this time is called an F slash C. So your ring finger is going to be here on a C note on the 3rd fret A string. Pinky finger, 3rd uh, fret D string, middle finger, 2nd fret G string, and then your index finger is going to cover the B string 1st fret. We're not going to use the high E string. However, if you hit it, it's not a big deal. Just definitely do not use the low E string. So, for this chord, it's going to be down, up, stop. So, so far we have a D minor 7 with an open up stroke, an F slash C with a down, up, stop. And then we're going to a B minor 7 flat 5 chord. It looks like this. You're going to cover the 2nd fret uh, A string with your index finger. Your ring finger goes to the D string 3rd fret. Your middle finger is on the G string 2nd fret. And your pinky finger is on the B string 3rd fret. We do not use any of the E string. So just the A string to the B string we're going to use. And our strum is going to be up, up, and that's it. Okay, so now we have, with the starting again, D minor 7. Down, down, up. Down, up, 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 and then we're going to an E7, the same E7 we played in the uh, in the intro verse. Up, up, down, up. So just to show you that part, it's down, down, up, down, up, stop, up, up, stop, up, up, down, up. And then we will go back into the A minor section, A minor F, uh, E7. And then we would do that cycle a few times for the verse, and then we would come up to this part, uh, which is the pre-chorus. It starts with D minor 7. So 
we start that part with a D minor seven and it's gonna be down, down, up, F slash C, down, up, stop, B minor seven, up, up, stop, and then we go to a G7, it's a bar chord. We're not gonna use this version of the G7, we're gonna use the bar chord version. You're gonna bar the entire third fret, put your ring finger on the D, uh, sorry, A string five, middle finger on the G string four, and this is our G7 chord. We're gonna strum that up, up, down, up, with the open up stroke. We're gonna go to a chord called F7 suspended four, and that's another bar chord, it's covering the entire second fret, ring finger on the fourth fret uh, A string, pinky finger on the G string, fourth fret, that leaves the D string to be covered by your bar, okay? So that's what that chord sounds like. And we're gonna strum that down, 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 up. So just to give you the context of that part again. And then we go to an E7 chord and we're gonna strum up, up, down, up, up, down. So now that brings us to the chorus uh, of the song. The chorus is a lot like the verse, uh, except we have some hits in it. So basically for this part, we're playing the intro three times and that's the uh, A minor, F, E7. And on the fourth time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a D minor seven bar chord. And we play that by covering the fifth fret from the A string down, putting our ring finger on the D string seven and our middle finger on the B string six. And then as soon as we, we strum that, we stop it, okay? so. We can do a right hand and a left hand mute. The right hand mute would just be stopping the strings and the left hand mute would be releasing the pressure. So if you do both, you're sure to get a very good stop. We hit it once, we do another D minor seven hit, go up here and do an E7. An E7 is a slightly different shape. We're gonna bar the seventh fret from the A string down and we're gonna put our ring finger here on the D string nine and our pinky finger on the B string nine and we're gonna strum from the A string down. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment uh, of your thoughts. Uh, did you think it was a good lesson? Uh, do you play it a different way uh, or do you have any requests?